So this has been a, a really robust conversation uh, and set of presentations. I would just like to um, close out this module by observing, um, again, I start where, um, um, I end where I started and, and I come with an American perspective, but hearing the conversation um, at this end of the table here um, reminds me so much of what we are experiencing in America, the, the collision, if you will, of, of global capital, participatory democracy, and land use. Um, I, I was part of a conversation in Chicago a few years ago when we had a major initiative there. We were funding around what was called, what is called our Hope Six Initiative, which is a national program to, to destroy public housing and in its place build what we call mixed income housing. Because in America, the notion of poverty concentration is a very bad thing. And so we are, our government, in fact, presidential candidates of all stocks, uh, all stripes and colors are committed to the notion of poverty deconcentration. <laughs> and, that, and that implicitly means the conversation you are having about really what we call a one-for-one -one replacement. And that is every poor person in a community has a right to have a unit of quality standard housing replace what they have and a, and a guaranteed right to remain there. That's off the table. It's not a part of public discourse in the United States. So it's quite interesting to hear uh, what really is the, the, the collision of, of this challenge that you have, as we have in, in the city of New York, because we too are surrounded by water, and certainly in Manhattan have the challenge of, 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 of several million people on just a few square miles. Um, I also would observe that Enrique offers a different perspective, which um, is, is quite radical to an American sensibility, Enrique. I have to say, you, you, you seem to believe that the public sector has a leadership role to play. And um, in many quarters in America, that is not a fashionable uh, theory anymore. Um, and so the idea that the public sector has to have a long-term line of sight on land use policy in a metropolitan way um, in many parts of my country is a very radical idea. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased by the conversation and frustrated as well because I think I probably speak for many of you in here, we could have um, heard this conversation all day long. It was so rich and so robust and um, I, I just want to thank uh, the speakers and I also want to turn it over to uh, Manji to um, take us out. Um, <clears throat> I don't have much to say. I, I was fascinated. I wish we had more time. Um, but one thing that struck me a lot, and I've, uh, between what Enrique said and uh, what happens um, in India, and I, I keep wondering with, with the best people in the world, I mean, with all the resources in the world, um, why can't we gather act together? You know, why can't we see a better result? Um, and at the end of the day, I think it comes down to caring. We need to care to do something. Um, I think the passion that, that I heard is that it is a philosophy where people matter. And that the, and that the, the state, I mean, it, what you did in Bogota was something, you said people come first, and you took a choice on that matter. Now, in our system, it's the law, it's regulations, it's a whole plethora of webs that we have spun around ourselves, which then prevents us from moving fast enough into the results we would like to achieve. But I'm not sure, I'm fascinated with the idea of why we have not been able to make the progress with the speed with which we need to make it. You know, uh, it's a speed. Dharavi, as you mentioned, it's four years since we did that. I chaired a, a committee to look at Bangalore Airport, and Bangalore is our brand city, uh, and I chose the, uh, the, the, the developer, which is Zurich, to develop uh, Bangalore Airport, and I met the MD uh, a few months later, and he said, Nasa, you know, uh, we were delighted when you selected us, but I didn't realize that that in India is where my problems begin <laughs> and not end, 
and it took him four years to actually get that airport off the way. There seems to be something magical about four. It's four and a half. <laughs> it's four and a half. Anyway, I think we'll leave it at that, um, and I really look forward to the conversation. Mm -hmm.